The weldments functionality has been among my favorite features of SolidWorks. It's a great way to get a crazy amount of design work done lightning quick, especially when you compare it to how we used to do it, sketching out the profile shape for the structural steel we wanted to use and extruding that out to the correct distance. SolidWorks changed the game in 2019 with the introduction of the structure system. By reducing the reliance on sketch lines to create structural members, the SolidWorks structure system really cuts down on wasted motion, allowing you to breeze through design work quickly and efficiently. In 2020, SolidWorks has added even more flexibility to the structure system, giving you options to speed through your structural design projects. Let's take a look. Primary members can be created in a variety of ways, but now in SolidWorks 2020, the point and length member definition has new options. Members can now be created between pairs of sketch points or chained together to create a series of members along a chain of points. The new up to point option allows you to create members that will converge at a single reference point. And the new up to plane option creates members that terminate at a selected plane. The member extrudes in the direction of the reference plane, or you can choose a sketch segment as a direction to define the members. Let's go ahead and add some horizontal secondary members using the support planes we defined earlier. Orient them to the support plane and add a cross member to go between the corners. In 2020, primary and secondary members can now be split during creation using dimensions, instant count, or by selecting a reference such as a face, plane, or structural member, saving us time on trimming these members later. When you are finished defining the structure system, the corner management tool kicks in and allows you to define the corner trims. For the simple corners, We'll define a planar trim with full contact to the intersecting member. For the complex corners, SolidWorks does a fantastic job of determining the trim tool as well as the trim order for the intersecting members. Hiding this vertical member, you can see what a great job SolidWorks did in corner management. To create the circular structure, we need to pattern the structure system. Previously, bodies can be patterned to achieve this, but now in SolidWorks 2020, you can create linear and circular patterns or mirror the entire structure system. By patterning the structure system, you are maintaining the intelligence of each of the members, allowing you to add additional structure systems in the next step. This is not possible when patterning bodies previously. Let's add a support between our original structure using the previous method. Align the structural member and let SolidWorks automate the corner cleanup. Patterning this structure will complete our design. After having a look at these new features in the 2020 release of SolidWorks, it's crazy to think how we got any work done using the old methods. Guys, I hope you got a lot of value out of that video. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and be kept up to date with the latest in SolidWorks news from MLC CAT Systems. If you want to ensure that you're getting the most value out of your investment in SolidWorks, reach out to your local MLC CAD Systems representative and start a dialogue. And as always, thanks for watching.